Hello, um, I have another Nerf War Tour video. Uh, uh, yeah, I butchered that, but it's okay. So basically, you know, you've seen the other two I've done. Um, this is just another one um, of those. And the, basically, the fun, one, fun thing about this one is it's really straightforward in the sense of it's basic Nerf. It's basic pickup game Nerf. However, this is more, uh, hey, here's what we're going to do, because uh, I am creating this thing with my, with my sister and my cousins, the HNWL, the Hesseltine Nerf War League. And basically, it's a seven, well, it's a six game long season over the course of the year, plus a championship game on Christmas that basically um, uses, as of right now, we only have two game modes, and I'm like, well, we should have a third one. Six games. We'll use three basics, two capture the flags. I'm like, well, let's do skirmish. That's what this is. This is skirmish, which is basically basic nerf. It's a pickup game. It's just like you're with your buddies. Hey, 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 let's just do it. Um, but for this, we're gonna, I'm going to be more showing you the uh, things you can do to it and how customizable, basic, how, how changeable this game mode is in the sense of you can really kind of do anything and make it work. And I'm going to show you more of what we're, in, in that category, I'm really going to show you what we're going to do. Kind of, oh, here's how we're going to create scoring. Here's how we're going to do this and that. To kind of get this idea of, you know, a competitive variant. Because um, that's what the league is. The leagues are more competitive. The We've been doing, like, like all the videos you've seen are, like, a really casual pickup kind of game using the basic game mode. This one, this league... Don't worry, we will still do the casual. If you like those for whatever reason, you like sitting there for 12 minutes and watch half of it not be much, um, don't worry, we still will have that. We'll still play casual games and just to play and have a good time because we, we're family, we love each other, and we love doing that. Um, but if you want like, if you wanted to see more competitive stuff and we wanted to play more competitive stuff, we were like, hey, well, let's do a Nerf War League. Let's make it like a, a, a professional sport, you know, like NFL, MLL, NHL. Um, all that. So, you know, it, it kind of all that. Hey, yeah, let's just do that. So this is, we can, we, we might use this game in the casual, but it's more of uh, for like our competitive, here's what we're going to do. So I'm going to show you the rules. I'm going to, more importantly, I'm going to show you the field too. Well, the field rules and also as well as what you can do customizable. And remember, this is just, can be used as a template for your own games. The thing about these, the series and I don't, I don't want you guys to use it as a strict guidebook. It's a, this is kind of a, here's how we're going to play. You can use it as a template for your own games. But remember, true nerf is the nerf that you make. It's whatever you make it. You want to pick up game and you want to add random rules into it. You do that. That's how you guys are going to play. Just have fun with it. That's the only thing that's important. So I think, I think without further ado, I'll show you skirmish. And more importantly, the NA or the HNWL variant. Um, so we'll start off with the field. For us, we're only using the base floor, the, the main floor, um, and all the way back in the kitchen, like boat, and the family room and all that. So basically, it's a smaller, smaller field. There's no upstairs, there's no downstairs, which is over there. So basically, the point of that, and the point of this is to create a more uh, close quarter combat and a more kind of like a, like a really just a epic battle because like the big ones the big field is really fun but sometimes it because one thing we've noticed when playing and I'm sure you guys know too so a lot of times the people upstairs don't come down Ellery and Mallory basically whoever's up there generally doesn't come down and that makes it hard for the team that's on this side because they can't reach as much. Now, granted, we've had two games where they, we've been able to do it. Well, one game really where we pulled it off. But that was luck. It's not going to happen every time. And so basically by put, putting them both teams closer together, it kind of forces the other teams to play against each other. You know. So basically, the, um, the, the, so this half, the basically what's our, oh, wow, our living room and... Um, the foyer and like this little hallway belongs to like team a basically whoever's up there and they for, um and they remember there's a time limit too so basically here's team b they have more stuff 
right? But remember, the kitchen's also hard to shoot at, so it's also kind of a in unhonorable way to play is to hide in the kitchen and it's kind of pop out. So it's kind of a play in here. You can use this to transport and then play in the dining room. Um, play in the dining room. I'm so bad at this. Um, so I'll go over there. Yeah, play in here. Um, and that's the thing. And oh, remember too, we'll have chairs here, don't worry, to cover up. But basically, yeah, there's... A, and the thing about this game, too, there's more obstacles because it's a close quarter game. Cl close space game. So there's more kind of stuff to hide behind and to be strategic about. Now, that's the catch, though. It's like, oh, well, you know, you could play, but, like, you know, this might be hard to because of all the obstacles. Yes, I thought about that. It's a time limit. We're th I'm thinking right now about 10 minutes. I'll kind of see. Basically, for the first five to seven minutes... You know, in there, or even, or six, whatever. But basically, for the first, oh, at least the first half of the game, you cannot cross the lawns, those stairs. And basically, that creates that kind of, oh, you know, you got to hope you can make it. And it kind of is like, oh, wow, they're right there. Why am I not hitting them? The second half is when it picks up speed. Because I've noticed from all our games, the second half is, like, the, the, the last bit of the game is always faster. I'm going to set this down. So the last bit of the game is always a bit faster. Um, you'll see, like, the Christmas Day game of 2018. It, like, the last four or five minutes just was not even five. I'd say three to four minutes. Last three or four minutes, all of a sudden, they're just shooting everywhere. Like, balls and darts are flying everywhere. That was fun. Because, um, like, I'll watch the video myself, and I go, wow, this was kind of boring. Uh, 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 oh, wow. That was a fun ending. And so kind of the idea behind this one is to drive both teams together. So, once that time is up, that second part of the game, uh, both teams can cross each other's back. Basically, there's no boundaries anymore. Except for, like, you still can't go upstairs, you just go, go, can't go downstairs. But basically, anyone could go anywhere on the second floor. Uh, so basically, it turns into the neutral zone, as it were. And basically, from there, it's a, whatever, until the, the 10 minutes runs out, yeah. And, that, and then basically, the team with the most points wins. Um... Yeah, so it's not like an instantaneous um, a game, like winning. Like, the time's up, you don't know exactly who's won. You can probably assume, based on like if one team's performing a lot better than another, but you don't know for sure until you tally up the points. And it's like, well, how do you tally up the points? Well, if you have a judge or like an adult or someone who's not playing, they can really keep track. Um, and, and remember, too, in all these games, it's an honor system. You need to call your hits in order for this to really work. And so basically, you call your hit, you put up your arm, put your gun down, basically. You don't drop it, but you just hold it down. And basically, you walk back to your spawn. Now, one thing I did notice is spawns are a little weird in this game because there's not as much space. So, Team B's spawn is right here. And we'll kind of have, a like, some things surrounding, like, the front half. It's like, this stool will come, like right here and like we'll move some other stuff but basically you can't go like you can't fire in that direction because if someone's in spawn that's not as soon as they get un they unspawn that's hard now two people in their spawn zone have to step out before they start firing they cannot fire from their spawn zone pretty straightforward um i'll show you team a's which is going to be really difficult but i'm really thinking um it'll just be this mat right here and we might like put the door up just to kind of create this, okay, you know, that space you can't go for. Now, granted, they have a door. You can't hit them. And that's kind of the whole idea. But, yeah. So, a point system. If you don't have, if you have a judge, that's great. They might, if you call your hit, they can just mark down, oh, Ellery got hit. Okay. Boom. She got one, she got tagged once. Um, I know that's the thing. Um, if you don't have one, we've come up with another system. So really, you're going to get a piece of paper. See how good I uh, explain this, this, this I am. So you're going to get a piece of paper. The first, and because right now we have two, teams of two. So basically on the, team, on the page, you write like uh, Cameron and Casey. Because it's our team. So at the top, so the top half is Cameron and, you know, uh, Colin. And then just blank. And then Casey like, for the rest of the page. And basically, when you're hit in your spawn zone, they have this. And basically... That, however long it takes you to do that, is how long it takes to spawn. Um, remember, too, you have to be completely in their spawn. 
I think that's not, like you can't stick your foot in and hope you get it. Yeah, you know, like you gotta get in there, right down, and then you can come out. Um, but basically, when you get in there, whoever tagged you, you write down their initial, um, not their name, because that's gonna take one. So for us, we're lucky because everyone ha everyone's first name starts with a different letter, so it's really easy. So I could, if I got hit by Mallory, I just write an M and then go. And basically, at the end, we count up how many times you were tagged and by who. And basically, the by who. So if Mallory tagged me like three times in a game and Ellery tagged me like once, Ellery gets a plus one and Mallory gets a plus three. And then however many times they hit Casey. I don't say Casey, he got hit by Mallory ten times. So now she's at, what, 13? Yeah, she's at 13 points. She's got 13 tags in the game, which is impressive. I, I want to see her do it. But basically, by doing that, not only does it count how many times you were tagged, it counts how many times... The person who tagged you got you. Like it keeps track of every, basically the tags of the game. So afterwards you can go, oh Mallory hit Casey ten times, so that's plus ten. Well, she got tagged like twenty times, so she's got an MI a, a, a negative ten score, plus the three she did. So she's got a negative seven score, and that goes on our records for how we're doing the um, HNWL and all that. And that I'll probably I'll probably make another video on that, just kind of like, oh hey, here's how we're doing our league. If you want to do that, set that up that way. But yeah, that's, I think that's pretty much it for Skirmish. Um, it's pretty straightforward because, yeah, after the time's up, we uh, get your get your thing and tally up. Okay, Ellery hit me this many times. Mallory hit me this many times. Here's how many times I got tagged. Here's how many times each of them got plus tags and then do it for Casey. Then while they do it for them. And then we bring all the numbers together and math it out. Beautiful mind it. And then, boom, Cameron has this score. Casey had this score from for the game. And then later, I'll go through the footage and record what time. If I can. Though granted, that game might not be... Uh, we might record it. Because that'll be hard to see just how quickly we're firing. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be fun. So I think that's pretty much it. That's that's Skirmish. Um, especially the HNWL version. Um, but just... In, like, Skirmish is a pretty straightforward game. I hope y'all know that. So yeah. Thank you for watching and spending time listening to me.